hi guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve a black smoky eye if you're here for the first time don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so let's get started with the video mm. so her brows are already drawn and you want to make sure that the eyelid is clean and is free from oil now i'm going in with my benai clown white eyeshadow primer mixed with my favorite concealer and i'm just uh, putting that applying that on the top of the lid applying it in a large quantity trust me guys you really want a lot of product on your eyes trust me So now I'm going in with my beauty sponge and I'm just blending that out so that it comes out looking really clean and really smooth because you want it to be smooth so you don't have creases when you want to apply your eyeshadow. So now we have a fresh base so I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Play Zulu palette and take that red and use that as kind of a background shade and I'm just packing it very lightly with a small blending brush with a precise blending brush and I'm just going on top of her crease but not to her not too close to her brow bone but just slightly on top of her crease and I'm packing in the product first and blending it out lightly with the brush Be sure to blend both front and back of your lid. That's the part closer to your nose and the part closer to your outer V. Be sure to blend them evenly. Now I'm going in with my Elsa palette and I'm taking that orange shade and I'm just using it to bluff out the red to kind of diffuse it so it doesn't look as harsh i'm just using a bigger freer blending brush to lightly touch up and blend out the edges of that red so this is what we have now after blending out and i'm just going to use my gel liner my black gel liner i think it's from beyond beauty and i'm just applying that on the lid and i'm blending guys this is the hard part because it actually gets really tough and really tiring and to be fair if i'm if you're um doing a smoky eye for the first time i'd actually advise you to just use eyeshadow there's really no need to use gel i just prefer because of how it looks it looks a bit sharper so i just like that so you want to keep blending and um blending it as close as possible to the crease but not above the crease You want to make sure you keep blending till there are hardly any harsh lines left. And that's what I'm just doing with my blending brush. I'm just going in and blending and trying to erase harsh lines. And this is what we have now. Now I'm going back in with my Elsa palette and I'm just taking that black and I'm just blending it on top of the gel i already used as a black and i'm just blending that over trying to make sure everything looks nice and smooth and like i said if you don't want to use gel because it's a bit tough you can just use black eyeshadow straight up it's gonna look pretty still so i'm just going back in with the blending brush i used for the orange shade and i'm just going back over the orange so it is still a bit defined and so that um there are no more harsh lines between the black shade and the orange eyeshadow Thank you. 
I'm going back in with my blending brush that I use for the black eyeshadow, but this time there's no product on it. I'm just using it to kind of clean up um, the eyeshadow and clean up so it doesn't look um, messy. And now I'm just going to use some glitter at the front of my eyes or her eyes and I'm just um, packing that on and kind of blending it in a little bit so it doesn't just look chunky at the front and this are this is her eye these <laughs> are this is her eye <laughs> now guys I'm done doing the same thing to the other eye so now I'm just going to clean up her under eyes and I'm using the morphe 15d palette and i'm just taking that shade called sweet and i'm putting it underneath her eyes and kind of buffing it out now i'm going in with mascara just to comb her bottom lashes out so they appear longer than they really are so guys this is the finished look and i hope you like this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share to your friends see you guys next week when i drop my next video stay safe and love you guys Mwah.